So, you want to hear a story, huh? A tale of adventure across the stars. <laughs> Come, listen to old Marcus. Have I got a story for you? My tale begins here, on this backwater planet called Pandora. Some say it is a wasteland of greed and violence, and it is. But if you've got skills to pay the bills, <laughs> Pandora is full of opportunity. Vault hunters. They brave the merciless borderlands in search of secret alien treasure. My father told me tales of vault hunting when I was but a little Marcus boy. And now, I tell you. So, you ask, what treasures do the vaults hide? Fame? Wealth? Power? <laughs> or maybe nonsense like charity or family. I don't know, use your imagination. Whatever the price, a vault hunter must have the determination to seize victory from the jealous hands of fate. Now, my story is about a very special band of vault hunters who have only just started their journey. They are bold and hungry. Maybe old Marcus tells you this story because they remind me of you. Just a little, don't let it go to your head. These new Vault Hunters are answering a siren's call. Her name is Lilith, and she is a hero, savior of Pandora a dozen times over. Lilith is recruiting a team to hunt for a map. A map that leads to vaults all over the galaxy. But she is not the only one. Dark forces have gripped the borderlands. A new threat, unlike anything the galaxy has seen before! My story begins right here on Pandora, with our new Vault Hunters, their Siren Leader, and, most importantly, me!
It's a beautiful day, full of opportunity. So, who's coming? Hello everyone, welcome, and today we're going to be playing Borderlands 3. It is finally dropped, and I am super excited to play this game. I've been looking forward to this for, what, seven years now? When did Borderlands 2 drop? Or when did he, when did the prequels even drop? What two three years ago? That's still that's still quite a little while, but still, this is going to be fun. All right, so over this play through, we're going to be choosing Flack. I think he's the best for my style. I'm more of a running gunning sort of style, and he has some nice abilities to complement that. So we're going to choose Flack, and we're going to get started. Vault Hunter, huh? Name's Marcus. You picked a hell of a time to join the Crimson Raiders. <laughs> Good to see someone survive the attack. I'm Lilith, commander of the Crimson Raiders. Those bandits you fought are part of a cult hunting for the vault map. But you and I are gonna find it first. For now, my scout is waiting for you up ahead. Good luck. She spoke inside my mind. Strange. This is your stop, Vault Hunter. Excellent. The hunt begins. Try to stay alive. I'd hate to lose a new customer. <laughs> and welcome to Pandora! Hey, you must be the new recruit. I am a CL4PTP steward bot, but you can just call me General Claptrap of the Crimson Raiders! What's your name? You are allowed to call me Flack, until I decide if I'm going to kill you. Thanks! I'll pre-order your tombstone just in case. Now, those jerks who tried to murder you are the children of the vault, a bandit cult who followed their creepy leaders with blind devotion. Which reminds me, if you're going to obey my every beck and call, you'll need an Echo device. The Echo 3. Slightly more powerful than the Echo 2, and twice as expensive. Besides, the Echo 2 had a tiny issue with spontaneous combustion, so they rebranded those as grenades. Now listen up, recruit. Lilith ordered us to take over a Children of the Vault propaganda center. Time to show those culty weirdos that no one messes with the Crimson Raiders. Follow me, recruit, to glory! With this playthrough, I think we're probably gonna go story first. And then we might come back to side quests if we can't get too far. Like, I'm thinking... I want to progress this. I want to see what the story looks like, and I want to see it kind of quickly. But I also don't want to die the entire time, so I'm not sure how we're gonna play this through. We're probably gonna do. You know what? We're probably gonna end up doing a lot of side quests most of the time, but I think the main quests are gonna be our focus here. This can't be happening! The entire mission is ruined! Think, Claptrap, think! You're yeah. brave and powerful, and people always do what like you I tell might, them to! Like, I'm probably That's gonna it. do a playthrough on each of the characters. Get that and open. my first That's playthrough here, I'm choosing to do Flack, officer. but... I wonder... <laughs> I might also do some collectible <laughs> stuff, and just some all-around... <laughs> like tips or whatever, but I'm not sure yet. Let's see. The propaganda center is up ahead. Those cultists have been killing Crimson Raiders left and right. They totally Yeah, I feel like balls. also I feel like the movement system in this game is a lot different. Like that sliding mechanic. They added that in just this one. Like we didn't used to have that before. Cuz that actually goes pretty far. And I actually really like that. I wonder if jumping... I, I wonder if they added mantling too, actually. They probably... Let's see. There we go. 
So they got mantling too. That's pretty cool. It's pretty fluid movement. And I think they had ground slamming in the last one. So do they still have that? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Alright, that's so... So, you can just like slide and hop off a mountain or something like that and just superhero entrance in like that. That was stealth. That's kind of cool. survived this long? Relax. On Pandora, it's actually super weird if something's not exploding. Now take your gun, recruit. Yeah, You're I've been looking forward to this game for a while now. This is going like to be really fun. Let's see. Function. Alternating firing modes. And sing. Switch between so firing modes. Okay. Okay, so this has got rockets. What the hell? Try it out. Why? What? That seems kind of ridiculous, but at the same time, I'm actually really intrigued. <laughs> because if that secondary firing does some serious damage, Wait here. that'd be pretty cool. Way in, become their king, and then you'll surprise slaughter them in cold blood. Watch and learn, recruit. Hello? Anyone there? <laughs> It is I, Claptrap, Slayer of the Destroyer, and Super General of the Crimson Raiders. We have you completely surrounded. Open the gates now, and perhaps I will be merciful. Uh, yeah. Let me think about that. They might call themselves Children of the Vault, but they're still bandits, and bandits are incredibly stupid. Okay, we're going to surrender. Please don't kill us, Crapot. That's what I thought. Open the doors immediately for your new king. Easy, easy. I'm, uh, I'm coming out. Just wait right there. We did it. I did it. Another victory for the Crimson Raiders. Hey, I feel funny. What's happening to me? Looks like we're about to get into the fun part of this game. <laughs> We got Claptrap, bust that door open. There we go. Okay, we got some fanatics over. You know what? We're just gonna rush them, honestly. We got this. Where do they they're not gonna do too much damage for us. We just gotta get in there and be a little aggressive, right? Alright. There we go. Come on. Second win, whatever. I'm not gonna die here. We're not gonna die. Regroup a little bit. Slide down over here. Reload it. Let's see, can we find some health? There we go. There's a little bit of health. Okay, let's try these rockets now. Wow, these, those are really bad. Like, I. Seriously impressed on how bad it is. Like that is a huge waste of my time. Critical. Nice little headshot there. And take that W. Let's see. Is there any more health vials? Like I wish health was just a little bit more. I know Clark's got to be a little. There. He's still one of us. Instead of gonna have to save him. Not I'll be there, there soon. Let's see. That looks kind of like a shotgun. So maybe we're gonna try it out. But I also do like that the look on that revolver. I like Jacob's revolvers. They're pretty powerful. I'll just take a look over here. Yeah. A one on one action with this guy over here. See if we get him. Yo, one more. And a psycho. Let's take him out real quick. Let's make sure he doesn't get back up. Alright, are we gonna make a run for it? I think we have to make a run for it because we're just out of cover. So we're just not gonna be in cover. So 
take this one last guy out if we can. There we go. Okay. Three, two, one, there. Slide into cover here. Okay. You know what? I wonder if I want to. I want to try out that that shotgun. There we go. There's some health. I want to try out that shotgun, but I'm not. There we go. Let's see. I'm not sure if I want to. I am not sure if it's gonna do too much or what it's gonna do. All right, that's that's not great. I probably wouldn't buy that in a store or even keep that long term. I'm probably going to switch over to that revolver. That's pretty garbage. I don't like that. There's a loot crate. Let's go out up there and get a shield. I like that mantling. That's actually pretty cool. I like how they added that instead of it just having to jump up on stuff. See. That also absorbs bullets, so we'll take that. Screw that extra, what, 19 capacity. I'll take 15% of bullets instead. We in the right spot? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I think the Peacekeeper is going to do a lot better than that shotgun in this, in this boss fight. I think I need more range. I don't want to be up close and too personal. Unless it comes down to it, but that's not a real shotgun, so we'll save that kind of fighting for later. I'm gonna sharpen my blade on your spine. Yeah, range is probably the best bet for this fight. I don't know how much range he's got. They do a rock and do anything. You know what? When they hit, they do some decent damage, but they have to hit so they can do any damage. So, Let's try this Jacobs out here. Are you kidding me? You gotta reload them one by one now. That is. That's brutal. I hate that. That feels that feels cool, but I hate that so much because that's gonna get in the way so much. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's set this bar let's set this barrel. Damn it! The barrel went to waste. Straight ADS on that. That is brutal. Can we get him with melee? <coughs> Can we get him with melee? No, nope. one last shot. All right. Actual skills. Even more savage than the beast. Skills? What do you mean skills? Like, do you have a choice now? Score one for the Crimson Raiders. You there we go. There's a shotgun. The area. I'm on my way. So you're telling me I get to pick my skills now? That's cool. Like before, we were just stuck at that one. Or I wonder if they're just. I wonder if they're the same type of skill, just different versions of it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I wonder if they're just the same pet or whatever. Like, they're the same pet, but they do slightly different things. Like, one's a tank, one's a damage dealer, one's a healer, right? Or like the cunning, the cunning beast and damage classes, like in World of Warcraft, where the hunters got those classes for its pe uh, pets. I wonder if it's like that. Trojan Claptrap was a complete success. I did it all by myself. 
I'll bet. Well, the cult's destroyed every other Crimson Raider stronghold, so this will have to do for now. So what's your name, killer? I am Flack, and your voice was in my head. Explain yourself. Yeah, about that. Not the weirdest thing you're gonna see on Pandora. But seriously, thanks for answering my call. We might not have the numbers, but with a badass like you, we've got a fighting chance. Welcome to the Crimson Raiders. Pandora's a dangerous place. That grenade mod will come in handy. You should equip it before we get started. Let me know when you're ready. You know what, while we're in here getting this grenade mod, let's get that, that action skill too. Let's see. Oh yeah, this guy got pets too, actually. Let's see, what do we got for pets? We got Skag, plus five damage. I like that, we're gonna take that. We got plus one magic hit for max health. Okay, so cloak. Some melee thing, like a teleporting melee thing for the pet. And then like a rax. A messy er, tool of bloodwing. Like a very like bloodwing. Yeah, we're gonna rock bloodwing. I call that one. Hey, do you hear bloodthirsty screaming? I wonder if we can pet those. More CLV. I think Let's you could do that back in World of Warcraft. Alright, let's take these boys down here. Jeez, a critical hit, no shot, doesn't even pop his head. That is, that's ridiculous. Jesus, Alright, there we go. At least some critical hit may die. Whatever. Whatever. They're gonna play us like that. See that was a that was a straight up headshot and I did and shot him. That is ridiculous. Like that's what Jacobs are for. Jacobs are for those like, headshots. Like I don't get why you can't do those here. Nice right, fighting killer. It? All right, hello there. All right, we got a foothold. Maybe things are turning our way. Come on, killer, you're with me. Let me catch you up. A while back, we found a map led to vaults all over the borderlands. Dream come true, right? I didn't realize how big of a target it would make us. We got attacked and the map was lost. I've been looking for it ever since. This way. I was so focused on finding the map, I didn't notice that Pandora was changing. The bandit clans used to just murder each other for fun. Now, they're all under one banner. A cult. The children of the vault. Right. Come on, let's take a look around. Their leaders are the Calypso twins, and their followers worship them like gods. They're convinced the map will lead them to something called the Great Vault, and they've been slaughtering anyone who gets in their way. I heard a rumor that the bandit clan found an alien artifact in the desert. Could be the map. That's what we're here to find out. Locked. I'm not gonna keep a siren out, though. I'll stand guard! <laughs> Perfect. Sun Smashers. I'll open the gate. Alright, that's going to be it for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And, you know what? Have fun with this game. Because, honestly, this game is pretty goddamn fun.
All right, I'll see you all next week.